So well guys welcome back to the another video and in this video we will be talking about how much stipend you will be getting during your MTech, MS or PhD after qualifying the GATE exam. But before I start hit the like button, subscribe the channel and let's get started. So qualifying the GATE exam is a really good thing because it opens so many career opportunities for you. One of them is like chances of getting stipend while pursuing your MTech or your higher studies. Stipend is provided by the MHRD Ministry of Human Resource Development for those students who enrolls in the full-time MS, MTech or PhD programs in various colleges. Now we talk about the stipend for MS or MTech student that is 12,400 and for the PhD students it varies between 25,000 to 31,000 for the first two years and 28,000 to 35,000 from the third year onwards. Apart from this, so many colleges conduct their own entrance exam for MTech or MS programs without GATE exam which is a really good thing but the downside here is you won't be getting any stipend if you are getting admission without GATE score. So if you are such a student who really don't want to go for a drop, instead of taking drop you would like to get admission somewhere through the entrance exam then you can go for this entrance exams for the MS and MTech. Now let's just talk about those students who really thinks that once they get admission into a college then they will be getting stipend without doing anything. So the things are really different. There are certain terms and conditions like maintaining a specific CGPA and regularly participating in the project research project or research work. If you will not be able to fulfill these conditions, then your stipend may be reduced or suspended. So you will have to fulfill all these conditions if you really don't want to ask money from your parents. Now apart from all these things, in the last I would like to give you some suggestions. If you are a college student, then you should start preparing for the gate as soon as possible you can. And even if you are a college pass out student, you should try for gate at least once. Because there are so many benefits of qualifying gate exam and so many career opportunities are there. We will be talking about them in the upcoming videos. So make sure you subscribe the channel so that you will be get notified for the upcoming videos. And share this video with your friends or your younger or elder siblings so that they will also get to know about the gate exam and its benefits. You can also explore the other videos on gate exam in the playlist. The link is in the description below. So that's all in this video. I hope this video might helpful for you. Till then, take care, start preparing for the gate and I will see you in the next video.